Hello, Super Nerve Riders. It is Thursday, October 22nd, and I just slept the whole day, and I'm really mad at myself. So, um, I'm just going to talk really fast because I feel like I have a lot to say in this video. Um, I'm on fall break, and I have a off of school, and so I stayed up all of last Wednesday night. Like, I watched Callie's video, then I watched all the Super, Super Bowl, all the Vlogbrothers that I was behind them. So, uh, that lasted until, like, 8.30 in the morning because, like, we watched old ones, too. And, um, then I went to sleep, and I was like, oh, I'll go to a quick nap. I'll, like, get up at noon. Okay, 8.30 noon. Um, no, I woke up at 8.30 p.m., and I was, like, so confused, and I had no idea. And apparently it was, like, all rainy, so it wasn't bright. So, I, I don't even know. Like, I was tired, maybe, because I walked, like, six miles yesterday. Talk about that in a minute. I went on, like, a hike. But I shouldn't have been that tired, because, I mean, I've hiked, like, 14,000 mountains for a week, and I'm on six hours of sleep every night. Um, so I'm going to stay up all night tonight, and all day tomorrow, because there's no way I'm going to sleep. Like, I'm going to go to records after this, and, like finish writing my letters um oh yeah i'm writing letters to everybody so you guys will get letters um yeah so talking um so fall break so i wanted to go home yeah jamie was pissed at me that i'm not coming home um not my fault i went to chicago okay i stayed up all night saturday night um took the 410 bus to chicago got there at 5 30 because it's like an hour time difference um so two hour bus ride there sat at the airport for 14 hours and missed eight flights um, and then uh, what I've done, I've just like gone around South Bend and went grocery shopping and I was like that one white girl on the bus with a bunch of groceries. It was like really awkward and fun. Um, and then I went to Mars and Noble and put Nerdfighter notes and books and I have just like, and I bought like warm clothes, so, like I have boots now. Um, and I yesterday went for a hike. Like I started walking and I found like, like I'll post pictures on Facebook. I found this giant park. It's like 10 acres and it's like open except for like trees, like a few trees. And it would be, like, amazing to, like, capture the flag. I just, like, went up there, and there's a hill, and I had a picnic, and rolled down the hill, and then I walked around, and then I ended up following railroad tracks through the woods for, like, a, for, like, a long time, probably, like, two miles, <laughs> and it, then they, like, stopped, like, it was completely overgrown, and you couldn't get anywhere, but, um, and they came out in this, like, private residential area that was, like, a really rich area, and it was, like, a private road, and I was, like, oh, it's awkward, so I, like, went down the road, and it came to, like, an apartment complex, like, a really upscale apartment complex, and it was, like, monitored by video cameras, and I was, like, I'm gonna leave now, and so then I, like, walked along the bike path for, like, two miles there and back, and it was really pretty along the river, and then I, like, finally got back in the houses, like, I walked back along the road that's in front of, like, campus, and it's, like, a sidewalk that goes, like, you know, like, how sidewalks go, like, through people's yards, and, like, people were out raking their yards, and I was just like, hi, and they, they have, like, the cutest houses, and it was, like, so, it was, it was so nice, I loved it, and, uh, I was really tired, and my feet hurt, and I didn't sleep, though, I stayed up all night watching vlogs other videos, and that's my life, and I'm really mad at myself for doing nothing, like, I had a list of, like, things, like, school things, like, I need to study Latin grammar, and I need to, like, read these books, and yeah, okay, you know, questions, okay, so, when I typed, I typed Grizzly Bear V into YouTube, because I, like, didn't remember how to spell the album, <laughs> it came up. <clears throat> the first one was like the economist or whatever it is. <clears throat> it was like ten, and it was like grizzly bear versus lion, grizzly bear versus tiger, grizzly bear versus moose, like all these things. And I was like, um, wow, people all like their weird things. Um, but I did watch. I watched one. I don't remember what it was called, but it was weird, and it had a guy with like it was like really weird, like stop animation, and it had like a guy in a fencing mask. It was really good. Um. They're interesting. Okay, I don't think Jamie understands about the Dan Radcliffe nude picture thing. Okay, Daniel Radcliffe was in on West End, which is Broadway in Britain. He was in a play called Equus that has a nude scene. Like, that's why there would be nude promo pictures. It's not Harry Potter. Like, he wasn't just nude for fun. Like, he was actually nude, and that's why where these pictures are from. Like, people taking pictures from the audience. So... Yeah, he was, I think he, I know he was nude in the promo pictures, like, you could tell he was, he was nude. Um, you couldn't see anything, but, yeah, okay, like, and obviously he didn't have a problem with being nude, because he was in a play where he was nude on a horse. And I hope you have fun on your retreat. I have a question, is it, like, you're running a high school retreat, or is it, like, a retreat for college students? And I hope your speech goes well. My weekend plans are, the BC game is this weekend, so I'm just gonna tell you a little joke. Um, what do you, BC... Students in Notre Dame students have in common. They all got into BC, and it's like sounds mean, but it's actually really, really true. Like a bit like seventy-five percent of the kids here all got into BC. Like everyone I know did, and um, like my roommate, all of her Nicaragua friends who didn't get in here are at BC. So it's like backup college. That's what it's called. 
Um, I think we're going to beat them in football. I don't really think they're good. Um, let's not talk about last week's game. But we played really well, and that was really awesome. Um, my favorite spot on campus, I, like, skipped around a lot. I, like, did cheer into the middle of Jamie's, and I drew lines and arrows to myself to tell myself to go around, but I didn't. Um, okay, there's a, there's a hill by the lake that I like to sit on. <coughs> and I like the Great Hall of Oshag, my favorite building. The, it's like all bay with like, and it has like a long wooden table. Wait, I really, really want an outdoor club. I'm so, okay, so at clubs night, like first week there was a club and it was like, so they bought camping. And I was so excited and then it's just, like a bunch of like obnoxious guys. And they're like, yeah, we camp out in the Stepton Center the night before games. Like, which is a building. Like, they just, and that hasn't even happened. Like, it, it doesn't exist. So, yeah, I really want an outdoors club because like it's so pretty here and so nice and I miss backpacking a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, <coughs> Your door is really awesome. Um, let me show you mine as I talk about my favorite class. Oh, again, the internet unplugging thing. Um, my favorite class is my honor seminar, which basically consists of 30 minutes of them telling us about the famous people they know. I feel like I've answered this. Someone asked it, asked it before, maybe. Or maybe, I don't know. And, um, yeah. And that's my favorite class. And then we talk about books, and we just, like, talk. Literally, we just we just talk about it. Um, I put happy Halloween things up. That's the only thing I want to show you. Oh yeah, and you, you probably saw these cupcakes. There are names, like every section has a theme, and ours is sweets. And I'm really jealous because I went up to the fourth floor the other day for the first time, and their section is Harry Potter, and they all say like their name, like year one or whatever. And I was so jealous. I'm like, why does mine have to be sweets? I have, I don't like oh, my section. I wish I had some other one. Um. Okay, and um. Uh, yeah, Callie, I watched you like repeat yourself for like the first half of the video, and I was like, you've already done this. You already. <laughs> Um, oh, and if your eyes are really gross, um, that could be pink eye, because my eyes were really gummy, like, they were, like, stuck, like, to, like, it was hard to open, like, and there was, like, goo, goop stuff, and, like, a lot of sleep, um, and it was pink eye, so, yeah, be careful with that. And, Jeff, um, everyone seems to not have liked you at first, except for Sharon. Sorry. I know, I actually know everybody's first impression, Jeff, but I was annoying. Callie hated me, but Callie hates everyone at first. She just does. Um, and people typically dislike her for hating them. Um, and then Sharon, you were just there. And then we, like, finally started talking after, like, four years knowing each other. Jamie didn't know I existed for three years. And then, um, you were there with Sharon in Miss Perry's class next grade. So, yeah. But we were, like, we didn't hang out until senior year. Do you realize that? Like, junior year of GT, we became friends. Really weird. Um, um, the paint looked, like, a lot of fun. I'm just gonna wish I had a paint war. Quidditch here is like, I, I wish Quidditch was cooler, like, there's not a lot of people, and the girl who's is a senior, and she's like really busy, but it's like, I'm not really busy, and I have nothing else, and I wish I had other things, but I don't have other clubs, and, um, I want to get involved and get this going, and, but I can't like take it from you, I take it from you, I did that with Stephanie, and I felt bad, but not everyone else was like, yes, you need to do that, okay, anyway, um, so about my scar, um, I haven't been outside since I watched your video, because I slept all day. And it's now dark out at 10 o'clock. So, I just showered. That's why, I, by the way, because I'm going to go to Rutgers. And I was like, I haven't showered in like two days. Um, maybe I'll draw a scar myself at Rutgers. Um, get them to take a picture of me. Like, order his food or something. I don't know. Um, and, uh, your dream job. Well, if I knew this, that would, like, help my life, by the way. Like, this is what people have been asking me since, like, birth. Um. Let me go over past jobs. When I was little, I wanted to be a ballerina because I did ballet. And then I wanted to be a chef and own a place called Fankles Fabulous Foods because it's alliteration. And I thought it was cool for coming up with that name. Um, I think if you want to be a photographer, like, okay, maybe, I know you're like, oh, it's my dream job. And, like, maybe you don't. Are you in a photography class? Like, we have photography classes here. You should be in a photography class, huh? Um, I want to, I think I want to be, like, an <coughs> academic. I want to be, an, I don't know what I want to do, basically, the end. I want to, like, read books all day and just talk about them and, like, go to, go to, like, conferences and, like, symposiums and just talk about books. But at the same time, I want to, like, be in, I want to, like, hang out outside, you know? So my challenge is that you have to write all of us a letter. Oh, I need to, oh, wait, do this. Uh, is that you have to write all of us a letter and, um, you have to read a sentence from each person. And they have to be different, like, don't write a generic letter to all of us because that's really lame. Um, and my question is, um, what are you doing for Halloween? G. Jeff. Chef, I will see you tomorrow. Bye.